Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So in the last episode, I know I kind of cut it abruptly, but it was how I wanted to do it. We met up with the Papyrus after meeting, uh, Muff M Muffet? Let's see, Little Miss Muffet? Yeah, Muffet. She, uh, is the spider lady, and she, uh, well, I'm really glad I bought those spider things, because if I hadn't, I'd be boned. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this fit ficus. Ficus, right? They're called ficuses. Ficus? Ficus, I think, is the plural. It's a platoon of ficuses. Oh, no, I was incorrect. Originally, we dug mazes of puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things, winding, confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go... <sighs> two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. Uh, whatever you say, Satan. I work at the core. The inside is a maze of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now my son, he wants to be a comedian like his fa father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mo mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. Blop, blop. You'll have to reserve our table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Yeah, I get the picture. Okay, yes, I get it. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides, yeah, prides itself on being passed through. There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain built Tool 1X. Metaton added last week. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 G room. Interested? I am interested, but I don't have enough money. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasury hoard you can eat up. The elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everyone stuck here. As a slime, I'm outraged. Welcome to MTT brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day, trademark. Heal 6 HP, don't ask, please. Heal 4 HP, hero sandwich, attack up in battle. Heal 27 HP, very popular food. And heal 14 HP is another very popular feud. Feud? Food. It's what I meant. But rather than buying something, I'm gonna ask. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Um, I'll barter Starfay. Oh, Starfay, not Starfruit. Thank you, have a fabby full day. What? Why do you want to keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with customers. Sorry. So I wanted to be an actor. Take it from me, little buddy. I'm getting on in here, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've got it. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. Listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'm going to save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people, unless you're one of them. They're just going to take advantage of you, like that time those two chicks asked to sneak me, to sneak them some glam burgers, and I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. So I went out to the alley to see these two ladies, and, uh, you know, see what had happened next. 
Then my boss uh, saw me and asked what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pocket tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. Yikes, that's a terrible life. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. God, have you ever looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices, and every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time, I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more re rectangular. They don't work. Yikes. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait, there's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore just gets one more soul, then we'll finally get to the go, go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's got to be a ch second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. It would seem that I'm done there. I just realized he's spitting it out into the... Metaton has ruined everything here. Humans suck. I don't think he understands that. Ooh, it's room service. Get my CT. Then... Okay, I need CT for that one. Ooh, room service. Got my cinnamon bun? I do not. You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. You must put a hot dog in front of the door. A white paw shoves out from under the door. It tries to pull the hot dog into its room, but it keeps pressing down too hard and the hot dog keeps spinning away. It finally succeeds. You hear the grinding of stone. A single hush puppy slides out from under the door. You got a hush puppy. What's a hush puppy? Hush puppy heals 65 HP. This wonderful spell will stop a dog from casting magic. Seems busy. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Okay, well, I guess the hot dog was worth buying. I was just going to use it at some point, but alright. Um, what to do? I need CT, I need cinnamon bun. So I guess I'll go get those. Hey, go up the creepy alley to the right for some great deals. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Heal 17 to me has a big bite out of it. You should buy all our stuff. Empty gun, weapon 12 attack, plus 2 attack. Bullets not included. Attack up when worn, probably to somebody's house. Um, I want that key. Like, see you later. Okay, I need to access the bank box thing. What? 1,000 if you get Metaton to sign your butt? I wonder if that's actually possible to do. Because if you can actually get Metaton to do that, that's a really good way to make cash. So I need money to do that. Oh my god, is that a glam burger? Oh my god, give me. God, Katie. Caddy, just had to have some self control. Sorry. Because those things obviously brought that. Because they obviously brought that glam burger for me. No way. Okay, is this just the same thing again?
Oh, that guy from the store? <laughs> Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, what a creep. But he's kind of cute, too. Come on, Caddy. Don't you have any standards? <laughs> nope. Okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird. And then he acts like it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glamburgers, he dropped them and ran away before you could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. <laughs> Caddy. I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, this is my best friend, Braddy. Okay. The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked buy all of it. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it in the garbage. It's good garbage. It's, like, really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. <laughs> Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. Oh my god, Metaton. He's like, actually, he's like my favorite, he's like my robot husband. I think we're like, already married to him. He just like, doesn't know it yet. So like, Dr. Alpha's built Metaton, right? That's like, what they tell you. But like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even after he was built, he acted like Alpha's was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, I'm like me and Braddy. Best friends forever. What? So Metaton... Metaton existed before he existed? I have a bad feeling about that. Like, they're hiding something about that. Like, not them, but the game is. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live in our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metatron to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all the science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, stay in her lab all day. Like, live in a little girl. Yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's, like, so nice. God, we're, like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Okay, girls. Got it. Now that I bought that key, I'm gonna make one stop before I actually go and I think I know where the key goes to. It's to one of two places. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, a room service. Got my CT. You pour the CT under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want. Here's a tip. You got 99G. That's a good way to make money. Ooh, a uh, room service. I got my cinnamon bun. You flatten the cinnamon until it's paper thin. You slide it under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want. Here's a tip. 99G. So that's a really good way to make money. And as you can see, I have uh, 262 now. I had to grind for a while using the dog residue method. So I'll be right back at... Uh, well, I might as well just uh, drag you guys along for the ride here. Because this is what you would actually have to do if you were doing this legitimately. So there's one of two places this key can go to. Uh, left 4-1 is where we're going. And now, um, how do you get there? How do you get there? Uh, 
talk to the Reaper. Yes, I want to go across the River Styx. We're going to go to Waterfall. This, there's only been two locked doors up to this point. And this could be either a really important one. The angel's coming. Oh, right, yeah, that's me, I forgot. Man, that was at the beginning of Waterfall, where now we're at the end of Hotland. That story was told. Come again sometime, chill Uh, so like I was saying, either there's a house back here that's locked, or that one door that Toriel's behind. It's locked. Dang it, the red house's door wasn't locked. The key disappeared. What? Who? Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Bluki and I. Bluki asked me if I was going to try to become a corporal, too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Bluki. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides... I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. Let's check this one out. Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad, without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Bluki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that kind of idea. Dearest Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the- yeah, okay, this is the one I read, and that was the training dummy. Okay, this takes a while. My darling Diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted the advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's kind of a dork. She's obsessed with these awful cartoons, but she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Ooh, someone likes Alphys. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have, like, five now. Dear Diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Bluki. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Oh my god, I found Metaton's house before he was Metaton. Oh my god, that... Mm, I called it. Everyone heard me call it. They were hiding something. I knew it. Everyone knew it. We all called it. Good job, guys. Claps for everyone. Yay! Now, back to the hotlands. The water is very wet today. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Alright, guys. I know this one probably hasn't been very long for you guys, but this one episode's taken me quite a while. I did quite a bit of grinding for the money, I had to check out a few areas to see what they were, but in the end I found out what I was doing. So guys, next time Let's Play Undertale, we'll move on, we'll be done with this. We're going to the core now. The elevator's kind of broken here, so we have to get to the core and fix everything. And we found out that Metaton was actually a ghost before. That's kind of odd. Also, Metaton's toy spitting on me right now. It's kind of really gross. See you guys next time.